Hi guys, my name is Rachel and I am finally back with a new video. I literally haven't filmed in months, like it is crazy to be filming again. I've just been so busy. Definitely in 2022 I want to get back to filming every week if I can because I really really miss it. But today I have a really exciting announcement. I'm so so excited about this. As you might have seen, myself, Ashley over at Ashley's Media Addiction and Becca over at the Becca Fowl were doing like a Scythe Along, which was three live shows on the Scythe trilogy. That was really really fun. I really really enjoyed that. So we came up with a new idea. We are going to start a book club starting in 2022 for the entire year of 2022. We have called it the Recreate Book Club. Basically every single month we are going to choose a book that is based off like a fairy tale or it could be an adaptation and we are going to read it and do a live show at the end of the month. That's every month next year. I'm so excited. So we will each pick a book every month. So January is Ashley's pick and she has chosen Lore by Alexandra Bracken which I'm super excited about because I wanted to read this for a while and just haven't gotten around to it so I will link Ashley's announcement video down below so you can see why she chose this book. So my month is February and I've chosen Uprooted by Naomi Novak. I will get back to this in a minute but I just want to talk about Becca's pick for March and that is Cinderella is Dead by Callan Bayron. Another book I've been so excited to read. Obviously it's a Cinderella retelling so I will link Becca's announcement video down below so you can see why she chose this book. So my pick for February is, as I said, Uprooted by Naomi Novak. Again, this book has been on my shelf for years now and I don't know why I still haven't read it. I've heard amazing things. I've heard it's just a really solid read. I heard Naomi Novak is an incredible writer. I also own Spitting Silver by her, which I also haven't read. I just need to get around to this. So now it's the perfect opportunity and it'll be so much fun talking about it with Becca and Ashley. So this is based off a Polish fairy tale and I'm going to read the name out because I don't know it off by heart. Agnieszka Skrawek Nieba by Natalia Galinska. I'm definitely butchering that name. I'm so sorry. I don't know Polish, um, but it's a fairy tale about a young girl called Agnieszka. Again, probably saying that wrong. She basically goes into an enchanted forest to save her lost cow. She ends up breaking a curse that separates her village from another village. That already sounds awesome. So this book is based off of that fairy tale. We follow our main character Agnieszka. Agnieszka loves her home village but there is a forest or a wood nearby that is full of power and there is one man, a wizard, called the dragon who basically keeps the wood's power at bay. And in order to pay for his services for protecting the village from the wood, he takes young girls from the village and basically has them serving him for 10 years. So Agnieszka thinks the dragon is going to take her best friend Cassia but when the dragon comes it's not Cassia he takes. I can imagine it's probably her. <laughs> I just think it sounds fascinating. I think it sounds really really interesting. I'm obviously not familiar at all with the Polish fairy tale but it'll be really interesting to read a story based off of it. Also Robin Hobb says enchanting in every sense. She's blurbed the front so that's really cool. I also haven't read a Robin Hobb book but I do have three behind me here which I definitely plan to read as well. I just think this sounds amazing. I love the magic element. I don't exactly know what Agnieszka is going to go through when she works for the dragon but I'm sure it's going to be very exciting. I'm not sure if this book is dark or if it's kind of more on the lighter end. I'm not entirely sure but I'm definitely very excited to find out and as I said before Naomi Novak is meant to be an incredible writer and this is a standalone novel. It's sometimes nice just having a story finished in one book. Also can we talk about this cover because it is literally stunning. I've seen a few different covers for Uprooted and honestly they're all gorgeous but I really like mine. It has a little bit of shininess there at the bottom. It's just beautiful. So I'm super excited to read that but obviously we are reading Lore first by Alexandra Bracken for Ashley's pick of the month and that is in January. So we have a Twitter as well for the Recreate book club so I will link that down below and I will also link Ashley and Becca's channels down below as well. Definitely join us if you can, definitely read these three books along with us and join us for the live shows at the end of each month. Obviously the person who chose the book for that month, the live show will be on their channel so we will have that linked on the Twitter. Definitely give us a follow, join us with these books if you can. I am just so excited to be discussing more books with Ashley and Becca. They're so much fun to talk with about books. Please do join us and we will hopefully 
see you on the live show. Thank you so much for watching guys, I really appreciate it. I will try and upload more, I definitely miss booktube so much. Not only have I not been filming myself but I also haven't even been watching booktube in a while so definitely need to get back to that, I miss it so so much. But anyway, thank you so much for watching guys, I really appreciate it. If you like please give me a like and subscribe, it would mean the world to me. And definitely check out Ashley and Becca's announcement videos, I will link them down below. Thank you so much guys and I will see you soon, hopefully with another video. Slan live!